everybody, this is Randy with Carkeology, and here's another excerpt from my car-filled life. I'm going to tell you the story of the VW Taxi. So this was my 1963 Volkswagen Bug that I turned into a taxi cab back in around 1990. Now, I don't know what inspired me to build a taxi. There there must have been some inspiration there. I think it may have started with the fact that I had found this taxi meter at a yard sale or a swap meet somewhere, and I just wanted someplace cool to put it. But there was a company from France that was starting to produce a fiberglass rear uh, split rear window kit. Uh, the company was called Frog Specialties. And for some reason, I was really intrigued with doing that to this car um, because quite frankly, I couldn't afford or find a split window. So I ended up putting in that Frog Specialties split window clip. I also found a dashboard from an oval window beetle and grafted it in to the, uh, uh, to the 63 body. I uh, moved the switches down there below the, the speaker hole and it was really kind of a hack job. A lot of it was pop rivets and sheet metal and Bondo and and the fiberglass, of course, in the back. But the end result came out really cool and it was very well received. You know, this was the first car that I ever built that was actually on the cover of a magazine and that was February 1991, that VW Trends. Uh, we did this photo shoot at a place called Old World in Huntington Beach. Uh, and then we had also done another uh, photo shoot uh, in Garden Grove there somewhere at some kind of vintage place. And that's the same girl in a different outfit. Um, but it was an awesome, awesome, fun little car. And it was one that I enjoyed bringing out to events places. Uh, and it was definitely one of the first sort of iconic cars that people recognized and knew, hey, that's Randy. Um, I also put this uh, Thermador car cooler onto the window of the car. Uh, and again, that was back in like 1990. And at the time, I'd never seen put anybody with a VW put one of those on there. Uh, it's certainly possible that somebody beat me to it. But if that was the case, I never saw it. So now that those are quite a trend, I kind of look back and I go, oh, man, I, you know, I wonder if I was the first one to do that. Uh, in any case, it was a really fun car. I eventually sold it to someone over in Japan. I have no clue what happened to it once it left, uh, but it was kind of interesting throughout life. There's been little echoes of it that have shown up uh, here and there. Uh, at one point, I was going to a, uh, a gift trade show down in Long Beach, and uh, this little VW taxi was uh, in this one booth, and I started tripping out, and I'm like, wait a second, this is like absolutely my taxi. They even did the uh, um, did the headlight eyebrows, the Euro bumpers, the light on the top, even the visor over the windshield uh, was something that they replicated in this little this little decorative item. Uh, and so that cracked me up. I ended up buying a couple of those. And then years later, I came across a Zippo lighter that had the same image of the car on it as well. So it was kind of interesting to see those echoes pop up again. I have no clue where that car ended up after it went off to the land of the rising sun. Um, but it was definitely one of the most fun Beatles that I've had. I used it in local parades, took it to a lot of car shows, and it kind of started out the whole VW freak show thing for me uh, in doing something different instead of just restoring a car. And there's been many others over the years. You can see uh, other framed uh, articles and stuff. I even did a school bus at one point, and I'll tell you about that. But um, that's a little excerpt into my car-filled life, the VW Taxi. Do you remember it? Did you see this article? Thanks very much for watching, everybody. Bye-bye. <laughs>